Bartasio, right? Oh, Jant's here in Bartasio. Maybe we do a Jant versus Bartasio. Yeah, that'd be cool too. Yeah. Like my favorite matchup. Oh, they played the same map yesterday. Hmm. Wants to do different. All right, cool. They're both cool, too. All right, nice. So, I'm sorry, who is this? John is JRG. Who's Leopold? That's Drone Rush. Okay. You writing it down? Yup. Nice. Doing it right. Just to make sure, man. I I am like this real big problem of having brain farts, and uh, I wonder why. But uh, yeah, it's just it's easy for me to forget these things. So it's always good to have a visual reference. Oh yeah, no, for sure. I mean, might as well help yourself out, you know? Absolutely. Um, so funny. I feel like I'm I'm doing uh, the thing that I should have been doing in school, you know, <laughs> writing stuff down, but I'm doing it for viewer show matches that's, instead. That's the important, it's the important stuff. <laughs> it's the important thing. It's yeah, important exactly. Yeah, exactly. And uh, speaking of important things, uh, we're going to introduce the players we have up here in the top right-hand corner. It is our blue Terran, John. All right, in the bottom left, in the red, playing Zerg, it is Drone Rush. All right, so Mickey, so the way it works is, in viewer show matches, I was very adamant about only one player, only playing, each person playing one game per day. I was very adamant in viewer show matches, I mean, in, in War for the Sector, because it influenced, like, the the campaign, the way it worked. So like, I didn't just want people to, like, keep saying, like, oh, I want to play another one, I want to play another one, just so that they could try to get more planets for their... Uh, for their race but in viewer show matches if there's someone who hasn't played yet and who i you know like i want people to be able to play if there's someone who hasn't played yet and the only option is for them to play against someone that has already played then i will i'll let them play again yeah that sounds reasonable reasonable so it's it's only only in viewer show matches in the specific scenario where someone has not played but i yeah, and and they need someone to play against, and the only person they can play against is someone that's already played. Yeah. So. Um, both players going super standard, by the way. We have a hatch gas pool out of uh, Drone Rush. Barracks gas out of John. Man, Drone Rush one. sending that Overlord straight through the inhibitor oh. zone. Actually, two of them. I think the Re the Reaper is going to go right through there if he's. Let's see how is it rallied? He just has it rallied to go across. It's going to go through the inhibitor zones as well. Yeah, I, I, that's so cool. I'd like to see what the what the timing is on that versus going. Yeah, around. me too. How does that affect the the timing? I wonder if it's enough to like pump out one extra drone or something. Yeah, I don't know. Um, all right, so the Reaper is going to come across slowly, slowly but surely. But but. You have to consider this. Those rush distance on this map is very short. So That's the true. inhibitor zones make it like a normal rush distance. Like a normal rush distance. It's a very distance. short rush distance though. Yeah, actually it looks like it's it's about to time out like normal. Yeah. He gets there right as the zerglings pop. Yeah. So that doesn't seem to be much different. No, but how much faster can you get there if you um go if around? You go around, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if, they, if you can. Mm. Uh, I think the pathing would be well. Can he get up? Let's see, there's this. Uh, there's this. It, what looks like a ledge to the potential fourth base of the Zerg, uh, in between the mineral patches. I don't know if you see this. Uh, sorry. But he might be able to go around and jump up that. I don't know. It's an inter interesting question. Wait, where are we looking? So uh, the triangle third for Zerg, if you just go straight up, there's like this ledge that leads to another base location, but there is a gap in between the mineral late, uh, patches oh. that looks like it could be a ledge for a Reaper to get up. So if he were to go around and go up that way, that it actually might time out 
uh, well. Yeah, that's interesting. I wonder. Yeah, I think that is a Reaper Ledge. That's got to be what that is. Yeah, is, that's very interesting. And then you can go from there straight up into the main. So yeah. I, that has to be what they thought of, right? That you go around. Yeah. Basically, yeah, you rally out to the side, and then you go straight up into the main. Into the main. I think I think so, too. Or at least that, that's a viable option that they have provided for us. Yeah. Looks like we got tanks coming out of John as well as a tech lab on his starport. So we're going to see what kind of uh, tech he's going to be coming down with. Just one, one, one. Meanwhile, um, Rune Rush is taking the triangle third. So this is going to be uh, VCs. Um, so you know it's going to be VCs when it's the, like the tank and four Marines. It's pretty mm. much always a VC opener now. Tank and four yeah. Marines. Oh, that's um, that's interesting. I never thought about it that way. That's cool. Yeah. So I'll, it's I'll be looking for that next time. The tank gives you the defense, and then you can be really certain of it when it's a Viking follow up. Everything okay. about it is trying to get you to not be able to scout that it's species. Also, the gas is at the natural. There's just like so many tells. Yeah. I think the gas is at the natural would be one of the bigger tells for me. Yeah. And the, um, the bunker is usually a pretty good tell too. Yeah. When they're bunkering up like that. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about this placement on the Evo chambers for drone rush? I think that's really strange. It's what really purpose weird. does that serve? I have no idea. It's really weird. I noticed that. Yeah, it, out. it looks nice. It does. You know, it's like nice and organized and tight and just in reach of tanks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> almost everything you could ever want. So here's a nice thing about, uh, you know, Battlecruiser Blink is that you don't have to fly through inhibitor zones. You just... Oh, but, yeah. but if you're trying to retreat uh, through the inhibitor zones, the queens can, can get yeah. you. Absolutely. Does it slow DPS? Ooh, that's a good question. Does anybody it know doesn't it slows say when you DPS? Because that would be interesting for something like if you're chasing something, it would mean that you'd be at a like huge advantage chasing something through inhibitor zones. If it doesn't slow DPS, DPS, it would put you at a huge advantage. Yeah. Oh, it's live range. Oh, oh, it's okay. just finishing up. So very interesting. Is he gonna be? He's probably gonna be swapping that onto the reactor here in just a second, then, huh? Or is he gonna pump them out one at a time? Hmm. The bridge is finished. Get the first two out. On the... Three on the way. Where's the other? Oh, oh he has a second starport. That's why. It? Okay. It's it's right behind his mineral line. Oh. Very interesting. Meanwhile, out of Drone Rush, who is now taking his fourth base, he's going for like Ling Bane. Uh, he is starting his Hydra uh, speed. So Ling Bane Hydra is his choice. Which against Ranged Liberator, man, I, I, lo I love Ling Bane Hydra. That's my go-to, but Ranged Liberator always seems to kill me when I do that. Yeah, Ranged Libs is tough to deal with, man. I think the, yeah, I just, I feel like the only response that Zerg has to Ranged Lib is Aspire. I could be wrong about that, but. Yeah. So Starlet raises a really good point. Um, hmm. Stasis traps inside the in inhibitor zones. Um, it'd be like impossible to see. Yeah, I was about to say that about an observer, actually. Yeah, observer oh. as well, because it's the exact same like effect, like the the um, warping. Yeah, that warping yeah. effect. He's just going mass liberator. Uh, with he's even getting uh, arrow. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if he's gonna and do Thor like we were saying. The because uh, I was saying see. Thor Liberator. Could be good. Yeah. Ooh, nice, nice catch with these queens. He, yeah. he catches this move out of Liberators. Drone Rush is definitely aware of what is happening right now. He's dropping so, spores at all of his bases. He's uh. Question is, do you keep pumping out the Hydras or do you? Okay, the Spire. I was gonna say. Yeah, I, was, I I really think that Spire is the the answer. Oh my gosh, John is such a turtle Terran. Look at that. He's got all these turrets queued up to go down. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, this is something I was saying. I mean, he's not pumping out the force. He's just going for liberators. But this all seems like a very turtle. 
I, yeah. I think you can get away with taking a bunch of bases. But you don't have, like, an just... opportunity, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe you could, but it just feels like... Yeah. I mean, it's hard, it's, it is a hard call, because, like, he could also be banking up a bunch of Hellions right now to be doing, like, a drone worker harass. Right. Um, I don't think he, with seeing these many Liberators, I don't think, like, a big tank push or anything would be on my mind. It would be more harass that I would be worried about. Yeah. Big move out of Liberators coming down on the south side. They're gonna be hitting this natural. He is gonna scout it, so he knows uh, it's with the coming. Overlord. Uh, now, what can he do to... What can he do? That's a very good question. Lings do not shoot up, unfortunately. No. Hydras could actually get in. Yeah, into this, like, little pocket right yeah. here. I am casting on the new maps, uh, Joe as We're doing viewer show matches right now. This is the last viewer show match of today. Um... Oh, Drone Rush is counter-attacking. Counter -attacking. Is that a good it's idea? Link. Um, I don't well, feel I mean, like he's keeping is. this base from coming down, so that's kind of nice. At the same time, and you know, like all these Ling's libs, because libs uh, are a high damage, uh, slow shot unit, Ling's are not bad versus a bunch of libs. But against all these tanks, though, I don't think he's going to get much done. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, three Banelings survived to go into the mineral line, but they... Nope. Okay. Libs Only get five workers up, go down. Um, That's nice. And he did uh, delay this uh, fourth base from coming down. It's getting five so Libs at nice. a time, though. That is... Jeez. That's a lot. Plus one air weapons and hive are coming down for drone rush. So yeah. He's trying to get the anti-lib answer. And meanwhile, John is just still going hard on this. Liberator. Yeah. Idea. Uh, Johannes, I did not cast the second one. Did not cast the second one. Is Drone Rush just gonna keep those Corruptors pumping? I think he's like... I don't know, I feel like, uh, he knows... He knows the meme. This yeah. game. He, he is caught on to it now. He has, so it's gonna be... I guess Parabombs would be good, but honestly, when you have this many libs, they stack this hard... You want, yeah. Uh, you're, you're, We've you're, seen this before. There, there was a nerf for this reason that uh, they, they do stack pretty well, even with the... That they don't really do much damage to armored units at all. Yeah. And you have 15 of them. That does a lot of damage. Man, it used to be, though, that, like, two or three libs would shred <laughs> an entire flock of mutas. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. If, yeah. if you had a flock of mutas, it was pretty gone. Sick. Yeah. Like, three libs. Even corrupt... Like, I've, I've seen in the, in the early swarms of corruptors just getting completely annihilated by like two or three volleys out of a bunch of libs you know yeah it was good that that nerf went through and but even still like uh having a huge number of libs to be worried about you never want to clump up your air units which unfortunately is the one of the easier things for air units to do yeah definitely any time you move somewhere your your air units clump up really That's good true. um so john uh, this is gonna be a long game. Yep, the we got this turtle really turn. good, but it's like, how do I break this exactly? It's what you're thinking is drone rush. Quite a puzzle yeah. you have to solve. So, just the way I think about turtle Terran, I don't think you need to break them. You just starve them, right? You take. You take more bases is the way that I would approach this. But, like, of eventually course, you have to... Because, like, that's what I did yesterday. That last game that I played yesterday, I had taken every base and had the entire yeah. army... I mean, the entire map spread with creep. Like, eventually, yeah. like, you have to take an, an engagement. You have to kill... Kill them. something, yeah. Um... Well, I feel like if you can force him into a point where he has to take an engagement... Dropping the manor mules right Ooh. under the lid. Is that what that the, uh, was? That the idea there? That's kind of stupid. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm not not quite sure if that was the thing to do. No. Okay, so if we look at like the um, base count, John's got four. He'll be able to secure five, I think. Yeah. Well, let's see Actually, how this, this fight. Could... 
nose. Ooh, I don't think it's going very well. No. Or drone rush. I don't think so either. He's taking out some of the libs, but he he lost a lot, all, yeah. a lot of his corruptors from the initial clump up. Right? That base went down. I th that was not bad. 15 corruptors on the way. I actually like this. The corruptor hydra. So the the um, liberators are either going to have to siege up to deal with the hydras, or they're going to have to engage the corruptors and just you know uh, have the hydras are going to be that DPS down below. So that's actually no, that's not actually bad. a good point because there's. Without these liberators, there is no answer to the hydras, right? There's three tanks. On There's what, it's one in the main, one in the natural, one at the third. Yeah, and that um, one, those two hydras just then were like a huge nuisance. Yeah, so ha making uh, John have to decide whether to siege or not to siege, and having both options be bad for him, I think is yeah. a really good move. I mean, you know, to siege or not to siege, that is the question. Yeah. <laughs> Getting the spread on the corruptors, that's good. Yeah, and all these liberators are now going down. I, yeah, I think you're right. And this is why when we were discussing it earlier, we said Thor liberator. Because it's... the Thors would then start to take care of the... Well, corruptors and hydras. Yeah. Both. I mean, well. strictly strictly liberator like, can't really work. Mm. But Thor liberator definitely could work. Absolutely. Um, I actually like think... Sorry, go on. Uh, we're, and we're still just getting more Liberators out of jump. This is only Liberators. Yeah. So I actually think um, Carapace would be a better upgrade to rush for. Carapace? Um, oh, for the for the uh, air? Yeah. I agree. Yeah, because you, I mean, you, you're dealing with, like, splash damage from Liberators, and, you're, and you have the Corruptor count where you're one-shotting Liberators anyways. Yeah. You know, so it doesn't really matter, like... Exactly, really and firepower. Um, Liberators do so little damage per shot that every armor upgrade has that much more value, right? Yeah. Like, the percentages are very heavily in favor of the armor upgrade. When, I think they do, what, like, three damage versus armored units per shot? Oh, that's disgusting. If you disgusting. add one, one armor upgrade, they now do two damage. That's a 33% that's a decrease in damage. That's, that's huge. And I, actually, Corruptors already have one armor to start with anyway, yeah. so these Liberators, I could have the numbers wrong, they might do... Uh, it's very close to the numbers that I just said. Okay. But, uh, that Carapace is huge. Man. Man. These Lings are getting so much damage done. There are no more Liberators, really. There's, what, eight on the field, five coming, and three going. Oh man, White Shadows brings up a good point. Why you get a mm. Raven? Ooh. To anti armor make... missile the corruptors. He should have probably done that yeah. already. That, that is a great idea. With it, um, yeah. With any kind of splash damage, anti armor. Yeah. Especially in this situation. How much does anti armor affect? Is it minus three armor? Yes, I believe. He did. He made a ton of turrets, Igor. He yeah. literally like. Had turrets everywhere, but um, drone rush just made lings and yeah. He's gonna try to baneling bust this. It looks like I don't think he's gonna get much done. Not with the liberators and the tanks on the high ground. Um, and while John isn't necessarily broken, he is very severely crippled. I, I think he's in a not good position at all. He's he's very heavily down in supply. Yeah, eighty nine to one thirty seven. If I were a betting man, I'd definitely be betting on Drone Rush right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. This third base is about to be toast. Indeed. Yeah. It's unfortunate missile turrets uh, only shoot up. Wowza. Yeah, they're not and like these OP, are OP cannons. Good. Yeah. <laughs> man, Protoss have it so good. Yeah, right. That is such an awesome uh, defensive structure. Cannon shield battery. Problem. Cannon shield battery is just a fantastic like. However, combination. never underestimate the power of being able to move your static D. I think Zerg oh. has a very uh, yes. Oh my gosh! Awesome, like that's really cool to have in it static is amazing. D. That we won't talk about it. Oh man, poor Terran. <laughs> All they have are turrets that can't move. Yeah. You know, they they got shafted in that regard. Yeah, they did. Blizzard. Just kidding. 
All right, so Man, how many corruptors we got on the field? We got 27 versus the 13 liberators. Oh my god. We're at 93 drones to 42 SCVs. And this is going to be a slow death. Yeah, one shotting the uh, liberators. One by one. The, uh, the missile turrets definitely uh, a bit of a pain, but I mean, this game is very over. He just needs to yeah. make some of these, like half of them, into broodlords and Edens. Yeah, not even half. He makes like three broodlords and then holds up a, a sieged position he can take out. Yeah. Really quickly with the broods. True, but it'd be like super alpha just to make half of them brood. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Chad Zerg. The Chad Zerg, yeah. Morphs, exactly. morphs 15 brood lords right in his face. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> definitely the Chad. Well, 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 he has all anti air, you know. <laughs> oh man, there was oh. such a good Chad meme uh, on the StarCraft Reddit. It was like the Chad. The Chad. Um, Protoss Cheezer and the and the Virgin Terran or whatever. The Virgin <laughs> Macro Terran. It was it was so funny. It was so funny. Oh man. Yeah, there's a couple of those that really got me good. There's a couple with with Terrans. There was some campaign ones too that there's like a uh, Chad Alarak versus uh the main Protoss guy, I can't remember. Artanis, there we go. That stuff's funny. That's a good format. That's a. That's it a, is good, a good format. Very good format. All those drones got denied from uh, living. <laughs> this denied. this base is trying to land, but it, it's getting denied from landing. Lings are now taking out these missile turrets, and P is coming down on this command center. So P is strong. P is strong. Man, they can go pretty far. I didn't realize the range was that long. Yeah, it actually, it's a lot longer than I was thinking as well. Yeah, does but you can't start out from that far away. It has to be sixty-six lings on the way. Thank you for pointing that out, Darth Gabby. I've been too focused on watching these corruptors. <laughs> I uh, Seb, I have played against Crimson Chaos before. Uh, White Shadow says he just BM'd me into oblivion, and then I took him there with me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, all right, all right. The Chad Lords are on the way. Where though? I'm still... Yeah, I'm not seeing them in production. Yeah, wait. Why did Gabe say six more? I was just not memeing. quite sure. I was just memeing. Um. So we have twenty workers out of John. We're just pumping out two liberators at a time. Jets are confirmed. I call this game a draw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John's about it. Absolutely. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. It's so and close. Here. That's so close. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, my there gosh <laughs> John is now on no mining bases and yeah he's got the one hero tank with 91 kills look at this 94 kill tank that's a lot just, of kills he's a commander for sure will he get it to 100? easy <laughs> So John has money with which he can make missile turrets. And that is exactly what he is going to do it with is. his four SCVs. Banelings. Nothing but banelings. Broods. Oh yes. Oh the the macro hatch. The macro the forward the aggressive macro hatch, I guess is is what it's called. <laughs> All right, here comes the Baneling bust. Just oh, gets yeah. all the demons, oh, gets yeah. that pretty That oh. wall got vaporized. Everything behind it is following. Nicely done. Good game, guys. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. 
Yeah, these are some, some fun matches, man. I'm I like these new maps. They're pretty cool. Yeah, cool. I have to play on them so that I can find reasons to hate them, but uh, that'll be for another day. Yeah, no, that that's the thing. <laughs> you always love them. Like I remember when I saw Dreamcatcher the first time. I thought Dreamcatcher was an incredible map, and then I played it, and I was like, okay, Dreamcatcher is actually the worst thing that's ever happened to, uh, <laughs> to the map. With all the, especially versus Terran, right? Oh my gosh, those ledges! Those ledges! Yeah. Ugh. So many great tank siege positions. John is off in the corner. Oh gosh, you saw it! Okay. Dreamcatcher was decent. All these people are saying Dreamcatcher was good. You guys are ridiculous. Out of my stream right now. So, Dreamcatcher sucks. <laughs> I will say this. Dreamcatcher was definitely my lowest win rate map. But there was...